Mm-hmm. Well, it's late night with David Letterman inches toward the finale. Many actors and comics are coming on to pay their final respects. Norm MacDonald closed out Friday's show by doing five minutes of stand-up and then paying a heartfelt tribute to his idol, saying Letterman is the greatest talk show host who ever lived. I have a couple of clips for you. The first clip is Norm fighting through tears, telling one last joke in Dave's honor. I remember Dave differently because the first time I saw him, I was 13 years old. I was living in... Uh, <sighs> <laughs> I was thinking about all those interns Dave had sex with and feeling Canada, bad for them. I went to a talk show they had there, and uh, David Letterman was the stand-up comedian on the show, and uh, I loved stand-up. And David Letterman did this joke that I told everybody this joke. I love this joke. It's still... Uh, stays with me as my favorite stand-up joke ever, so I'd like to do it for you if you'd like to hear it. <laughs> he goes, um, I, uh, I, I was on the street the other day, and uh, I, uh, I saw a garbage truck, and on the back of the garbage truck, there was a small sign that said, please do not follow too closely. <laughs> Another of life's simple pleasures, ruined by a meddling bureaucracy, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) You remember the old days when when Dad would pile the kids in the station wagon and we'd all go out and follow a garbage truck? I I saw that, and all I could... All I could think of is... I wasn't thinking about... That sounds hot. I wasn't thinking about Dave. I was thinking about Norm. Mm -hmm. Norm is perfectly capable of like shaving and putting on a little Grecian formula and putting, putting, a, putting a tie and a suit on and going to New York and doing a really funny kick ass five minute stand up comedy set. But then you talk to him about doing podcasts or projects or teaming up or whatever. It's like, uh, Norm can't leave his apartment because if he gets up, he'll kick over a jug of urine. <laughs> And he'll lose his cleaning deposit, and he does not drive. He does not drive himself. Oh, no, he does not. By the way, move to L.A. and then make the proclamation, I don't drive. And it's like saying, I can't be employed. Like, he should just fucking take ropes and put himself uh, onto the bed like uh, James Caan in uh, Misery. He doesn't doesn't drive? No, he does not drive. Why? He has a helper person, female, whatever. I did just I, huh. so it's so insane. And then you know, people tweet me all the time, like, "Hey, hey, get Norm on, man! You guys are dynamite together. Everyone loves you and Norm together." And I'm like, it would be awesome if he was capable of getting inside of a Volvo and propelling himself in where my does, direction. Where does he live? He lives somewhere on the west side, sort of beach. Oh, city. he's in L.A. Yeah, he's in oh, L.A. Okay. All right. He does not drive. Well, that can be fixed. I, I agree. Are you the- taking his, his beautiful Dave Letterman moment and making it about the fact that you can't get him to do anything with <laughs> That's you? That's exactly what's happening. Yeah. I, I just see the guy. I, I, people, yes, I'm, I'm seeing it because he is so good when he's he wants to be amazing. good. And he puts himself together, and it's perfect, and then you see him, and he's got like a gray beard, and he's walking around with Kleenex boxes on for slippers, and it's like, <laughs> look, just fucking learn, get your driver's license, and come come, come on out. Yeah, join the rest of us. It's a, it's, it's In society. So, well, no, I feel like, I, I feel like Norm's talent is being wasted in Norm's apartment. Instead of you, out with us, which I believe now. See, I don't know anything about where what Norm's doing. You catch him every now and then on a clip. You catch him. Maybe he calls in somewhere, and I've seen him there. He he seems to tweet a lot now, though. Mm. Yes. He'll tweet. That's what you can do from your, your living yeah, room. He'll watch an entire uh, round of golf, the Masters. He'll tweet every shot. Uh, he'll go on long rants. Well, he showed up at the SNL thing. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's again. That's the whole. Thing. He's capable. He cleans himself up, he shaves, he puts on a suit, and he goes out and does a really funny stand-up set. Mm-hmm. And I, you wouldn't I, even need him to clean himself up or a suit. I, I'm wearing pajamas right now with I, slippers. I'm wearing fucking practically pajamas myself. <laughs> I know. I know. I just, uh, all I'm saying is, he is one of the funniest guys on the planet. Oh, it would so be funny. nice if he could, somebody just backhand him and yell, get hold of yourself. 
and then you know give them a shot of vermouth or something and go let's go we're, go, we're going down to the fucking DMV Maybe that's we're you. a license I told I think I told him you know, that guy was, sounds hot see that or Gilbert Godfrey I can't remember but I told one of them I will teach you how to drive I yeah, have, you don't need to if, if in his position he can get someone to drive in places oh there's Uber I love Uber. Oh, it's, you hate Uber? No, I love it. I just can't. It's 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 impossible. The answer is yes. Is he could get someone has to he, do it. Has he never Maybe driven? Maybe he just has a social phobia that only goes away when he goes to New York for major television, <laughs> three farewells and finales. Was there a driving-related trauma? I, I don't want to belabor this, but I'm fascinated. No, there are many people that we just, they're allowed to just announce to the world that they're nuts, essentially. And then they can do whatever idiosyncratic behavior they like. And then everyone just sort of covers for them. They go, you know, Gilbert Godfrey or Norm or whoever. Everyone goes, oh, well, you know, they don't drive. Well, but yeah. no one ever goes, why the fuck not? I've been driving since I was 15 and a half. It's That's no like deal. Bill, Bill Cosby doesn't have sex with women who are awake. That was yeah, his thing. His That's thing. his thing. He well, announced you know how it. Is. Maybe he should have announced it. He should have. Yeah, yeah. we've been yeah. forgiving. 